Because they didn't spe well, of course, they specialize in birth and like pregnancy, but they also serve the community, so like elders, infant, women, children, everybody basically. So like, if someone had like, say an older person had like, I don't know, bed sore or something like that, then a midwife would tend to that. And then also, um, what you would call like OBs, like they would actually um sh like shadow them, or they would trust the midwives to go and take care of someone and that like, you just call them for like an emergency like if they had like a certain drug or something that you would need so um traditionally for wrapping they would just use a sheet and so like i think like to show we use like yeah we just use like sheet. a full size or like a queen size uh like bed sheet because that was what was accessible and you literally just wrap it over and over you tighten it and then you find a place to tuck it and that's the same thing i do i'm starting to do with the ben kung i feel like with the ben kung um i feel like i can get it a little bit tighter so what i'm what i'm doing now can you spell that ben kung ben kung i think it's b-e-n-k-u-n-g yes right? yeah so with the ben kung you do you're actually supposed to tie it a certain way but the way i tie it i i wrap it so it's like the granny midwife but to me i feel like i can get it, i can get it basically tighter it's smaller. yeah so this one's actually pretty long you really don't need it that long. Yeah, I used the one after my second. I bought it from another mom. But I was, I, the only videos I could find was knotting. Yeah. And I could not figure yeah. out the knotting and, and by myself postpartum. Yeah, and I know there's some like tradition behind that, but I don't need all that. I can so just, then after my most recent one, I just kind of wrapped it. Right, back. exactly. And just exactly. kind of knotted that's literally it what you're doing. That's tuck it in somewhere. Just, right, you're like wrapping it like a mummy pretty much. So you want to make sure that it's flat here, and then you're gonna hopefully I don't nip slip y'all. <laughs> tuck it right under your breast. So you, when you're starting on your client, I'm gonna use somebody over here, but um, on yourself you can. You, so basically, you can see that a postpartum person can do it themselves. Um, so like a single parent can definitely do it themselves. Um, the first few days are not going to be like as fun. So hopefully there's a partner there, somebody to help. Um, and also, whenever I'm showing someone how to wrap, I do try to make sure that like a partner that is there, so they can, or maybe like a mom or somebody is there. So Someone's they, gonna be visiting right, with them. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, but eventually the birthing person will will get it on their own. Mm -hmm. So you just start right under one breast here, and just hold it, and then you're literally just gonna wrap it around just like a mummy and keeping it flat so the first wrap you want to make sure that it's nice and tight so even if you want them to kind of like suck in a little bit and make sure that the back is straight too and make sure that it stays flat and so after you push this around, you won't have to hold this one like that. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then you literally just keep wrapping over and over. Pull so it's nice and tight. And keep pulling over and over. And also if you have someone right here, like someone come hold this right here. Hold it tight. I can literally just go like this, and I'm shifting my weight like this, so I can pull and make it nice and tight. Pull, pull, like pull. Yeah, like mm -hmm. And I'm making sure that this stays flat. Can I see? Right. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get a video for Instagram for you too. Are you doing? Know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you doing video? Uh -uh, no, oh yeah, no, no, no. I was like trying to record both. Do you want me to hold your phone? I'm just watching the chat. Go down a little lower. Oh, that's fine. I just know she'd be, like, very stressed, though, so I was like, yes, she does. <laughs> so, also, you want to make sure you get the hips, too. So, like, right mm -hmm. now, I'm, like, on the smaller side or, like, average or whatever. So, I don't really need to be, like, wrapped here again. But maybe someone that's a little bit bigger than me, their to torso can be wrapped once more. Um, Just act like we don't have all this extra here. But for me, I'm, like, a little bit smaller, so oh. I can just go straight down to my hips. And on your hips, you want to definitely make sure it's nice and tight here. And so I should be able to put a little bit of compression on my hips. And then if you want to just, you know, you can wrap it again.
and say this is the end of it, like say all that is in there, you just find a place to tuck it. So the end, you just tuck it right under or whatever. And when you do this, like you guys, you guys, you guys gonna do it on yourself or with a partner. Um, you'll notice like it's forcing me to to be up straight. So a, th a thing, especially with breastfeeding people, um, they tend to hunch over. I can't, I can hardly hunch over here. I can't, I can't really hunch over. Especially if I had all this, if I had all this on there, I wouldn't be able to hunch over. Um, the annoying thing with the sheet, I feel like the sheet kind of like, it can get loose. With this, I feel like it's a little bit more, it's much more sturdy. So maybe like with your clients, you can purchase, you can either just find fabric and make it yourself, or you can, if you want to purchase it from someone, um, just include that, like, in your, if you want to include that in your fee. So, like, say you bought it for, like, how much would it be if you bought it for, like, 30? So, if you bought it for 30. that long, like, six yards. Yeah, so, like, you just include that in your fee so that you're not paying for that out of pocket, you understand? So, like, if my. Include it into the package. Exactly, exactly, yeah. So and even it's not even it's not even t like tucked right now and it's very secure, like it's very it's very secure. I know I think for you can wear it and then put the little one in on your back too with the same fabric or your mm -hmm. second one. No, like not with this fabric. Okay. Wear, I mean, I'm out of curiosity. Yeah, not no, you wouldn't you wouldn't wear with them with this. I one. know for myself, I also used mine because I had really I could barely walk unless I had a support mm -hmm. belt mm -hmm. but none of the support belts or the like, K tape or anything was mm -hmm. ever comfortable mm -hmm. so what I used mine I didn't use mine strictly that much afterwards but during that third trimester I definitely used it for mm -hmm. belly support okay and just wrapped it around to like lift my stomach because mm -hmm. it always just felt like it was right right, dragging right. And on the muscles and right the tension and, and so she mentioned KT tape which is also like physical mm -hmm. therapy tape um, your your people who have diastasis diastasis rectile, which I have, so I can show y'all. I'm gonna turn around my stomach, but I had diastasis rectile yeah, right, after right. my first. You had a C section with your first, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 